Hey, fam, fam, this is a time of Sarah with T.I. I came to give you a reading at this time. And to honestly, I had to fix this for your water, my water signs. Okay. I had a complete, I had a reading for you earlier. You'll get that portion of it for those it resonate with. It resonates with you and, you know, but this full reading will be your full next best step reading. Oh, shoot. This will be your full next best step reading. But I will upload the portion of the reading I was able to actually salvage because the rest of it was basically just gone. Um, in that reading, it was basically showing that in that particular reading, it was showing that um, it still was the next best step reading. And look, it's saying there was envy and like basically there was some type of form of imbalancement. You see that here, right? Well, in the other reading, you'll see that... Um, Basically, the cycle that ended was like some form of financial constraints and letting someone unbalance you like you might have you might be in a situation or a relationship or a high level commitment where the talks of divorce might be kind of really happening and separation might really be happening because ultimately that situation is done and over with like the cycle of like letting people hold you back from getting to the bag water signs is over. But let's find out your current energy for this read. All right. So we have fifth. Yeah, look. Mm -hmm. You have caring connections on the bottom. So there might be some type of, you know, for some people, there might be other love interests that came into play as well. But there's a tower and there's a lot of truth that's coming along that's being spoken. Like, <clears throat> like I said, you got envy still there in action. Yeah, like there's a lot of action being taken. Like I stated, um, someone you care about deeply have very strong feelings towards uh, your significant other, someone or someone you just really care about and love, family member or whatever. Um, there's a storm that's happening and coming about right now. And um, but it's because you, you're in a place where you're like, I'm going to talk my truth. Like I'm talking my truth. Like I have to speak my truth. I I have to honor myself by speaking my truth. We're gonna start off with strength, and you know that's gaining that inner strength. Ace of Wands gaining that create creative all spark back. You know, higher fame might have stepped away to relearn some things to gain better knowledge on certain subjects. But let's see what cycle has ended for my water signs. Let's see what cycle. Ooh, I saw that Ace of Swords try to hit out hard. Hold on. But I didn't feel comfortable with my uh, shuffle. All right, let's see. What cycle has ended? The har All that horrible... Mm, all that horrible toxic love. That karmic is gone. That tower, that cycle is over. So if you feel like your life was in turmoil or you was going through a lot and you just... You kind of like we're over it. Like the tower is like full on karma lessons. That cycle, that karma, that lesson, that cycle... Of lessons is coming to a close right now. Yep, I sh it's like it was like a. I feel like it was a battle of the heart, but I believe it was a battle of your own heart. Honestly, everything feels like this was a battle of your own heart. Like you had to truly make a decision on like what do you what would fill your cup up the most. Uh, water signs. I know y'all understand ace, that that's a water cup. That's an ace of cups. All right. Um. So what did you ignore, water signs? One card for what did my uh, water signs ignore? Jeez, I said one card and three cards came. Wow, these came out in reverse. Um, this all really just says to me it came out in reverse. It's such a negative energy that's coming off of these. It really just shows that this person that you was dealing with might have been highly uh, involved with. Uh, was very karmic. You were dealing with a karmic. Uh, honestly, there's no other way to put that one. You were dealing with a karmic. Um, they weren't given to you. You were heavily addicted to them. Like the d addiction was beyond like this world. And you truly thought it was wish fulfillment. And it wasn't. Like you thought this was what you really was supposed to want and have. And you ignored that it was so mean. This person wasn't giving to you. They was holding back. They was stingy. They wasn't trying to like give no real love. They had you like you were overly addicted to this person with that devil in reverse. 
what what should you um what the fuck i just dropped something damn 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 that was awesome what i just dropped <sighs> i'm like that was awesome anyways um you totally just did not i feel like it came out in reverse even, you know, because it's like, what did you ignore and stuff like that? It came out in reverse just to emphasize, like, you just really just wasn't trying to see that shit. Like, I'm sorry to cuss, but you really wasn't trying to see this at all. But I'm turning it up right just so you can see it right. Because everything in me wanted to turn it up right, but I felt like it did that on purpose to be like you was all the way just wouldn't like blinders all the way on. But now you talking your talk. You talking your ish. You say, uh-huh. Thank you, next. What should you rethink? Ariana Grande, what should you think? What should you rethink? Um, what are signs? Four of Wands. Yep. It came out. Why is all your cards? Yep. It came out like this. This Ten of Pentacles came out with it. Um... Your stability at this point, like, what should you rethink? Honestly, it feels like you should rethink, like, your stability. Like, this four of wands, this is unha unhappy, unstable home. Ten of pentacles, how did you get a ten of pentacles, but then the four of wands is supposed to be the house, home, and hearth card, too. And you're, and it's off balance, it's off center, so you need to rethink your stability, like, what, what will make you stable again? Bring back, bring about stability into your life again, uh, water signs. What should you not forget, water signs? I see that Empress on the bottom of the deck, too. What should you not forget, water signs? All the hopes, wishes that you had, all the times you sat down and prayed, all your intuit intuitive um, downloads that you got, you should never forget. But the main thing you should never forget is that you healed your, yourself. You washed away all your fears and everything that was going on with you in this situation that had that has led you to a place where your throat chakra is all the way. You became your own king of pentacles and became stable. You healed yourself. You need to never forget that, that you became your own healer, your own hero. hero. Your, the, the best part of you became you. Damn, that's what's up, water signs. I love it. What did you learn? One card for what did you learn, uh, water signs? Queen of Cups. Definitely think you learned where and who your like time and emotions and feelings, like where your energy should really truly go. Like you learned that. And what is your best plan of action? Best plan of action for my water signs. One card for my best plan of action for my water signs. Um, eight of wands. It, it, you know, wands are messaging cards, and this would be like forward movement and like some type of conversation or talking or messages. But your best plan of action is to can you can it's just to not to, you don't got nothing to say. You have nothing left to say. I feel like what is well, who who sung that? Main condition, nothing left to say. Ah, uh, excuse me. It, damn, that's you need to check the lyrics. I, I know I've mentioned that song before, especially if you, you if you followed us when we was on Best of Both Oracles. And like Jay Coffee, if you follow Jay Coffee, you'll know. I don't think I've said it too often, but the reality is we are getting, we are still just retweaking Best of Both Oracles, but we are going to get back together and do our things like we know how to do. Um, but your best plan of action is to stop talking and to let it go. Rebalance, recenter yourself, heal yourself. That's the healing staff. You've healed yourself or continue to heal and grow and let it go. Walk away. This is one. Of, like I said, I, well, at least I ain't lie. The fool, when I split the deck open, the fool card was right here. When I split the deck open, um, you're on a new journey now. And I told you that first reading was like you was... The water signs was not letting death and transformation just showed up water signs wasn't letting whoever was in their life trying to disrupt their money disrupt their peace they are you're no longer allowing that 
what is an optional route for my water signs? One card for an optional route for my water sign. Did I even mention the seven retrogrades and the super blue moon energy that this is all being done under? Uh, nine of Pentacles, being single, remaining single, getting your finances together, loving on you. She giving me like Liz Taylor vibes, you know what I mean? Like for all the husbands, Liz Taylor was like, um, thank you next. She was like the queen of thank you next. And then J-Lo kind of followed her footsteps, but whatever, you know, but, um, yeah, it ain't nothing wrong with watering your own garden and planting your own garden or at least getting somebody to do it for you and stuff like that. And loving on yourself. Like she is happy for eating, got green, like all this green is standing out. Like her heart chakra is so open and I can't act like I didn't see door to romance when I was shuffling the energy deck cards in the beginning, the door to romance card was open. So you're like not going to be closed off to love either, but, um, definitely your other best option, which I don't even see it as a, as a bad option, but like what is an optional route, you know, to go ahead and go to single route, get your money right and worry about self. But both options seem to be geared towards worrying about yourself. And what should you avoid? One card for what the water signs should avoid. And then I'm going to get you some um, message cards as advice. What should my water signs avoid? One card for what they should avoid. I'm going to take that card that's poking out if, if nothing else. <clears throat> don't stop. Don't stop working on this ending. I'm sorry to say it like that, but like it's the world and like everything is like conjuring and then working on it. Like this looks like to me like working on the end. Like one, what? so what should you avoid? Don't stop working on ending this cycle. It's the end of it. Like it's the world card. It's the end. It's over. All the all all the horsemen, all the kingsmen, all the horsemen couldn't put come to together again. It was over. It was done. This is done. The situation, like, don't stop working on it. That's what you should avoid. You can become stagnant. You could want to maybe think you want to go back into it or whatever the case is, your uh, relationship or reconnect. But this has shown even in the other reading that you will be up uh, as partial as it is going to be like three minutes. But as partial as it is, know that that reading was is part one to this. So this will be labeled part two. Don't. <clears throat> do not stop working on this and then let it go. You might even have to do it in secret. It's going to balance you back out, but this person backstabbed you and you really might've been dealing with an earth sign. And the three of swords is right there. You learn to hold back, hold on. You definitely learn this three of swords. It might've been an earth sign that you were dealing with word of sign, but this person stabbed you in the back. They took, when they spoke their truth, it was, whew, it was sharp, cold, heartbreaking, everything, but it brought about balance. You got your, uh, you got your infinity walk on like, okay, I'm healing. I'm getting my heel on. I'm, I'm cool. I'm balancing all the way back out. Um, and then look with the Pisces and stuff like this. So you could be a Pisces, you know, like it just giving like that Pisces infinity energy and stuff like that. Like, but this Piscean energy, so you could be a Pisces that I'm talking to. Uh, <clears throat> let me get y'all your, um, yeah, this ace of wands. Yeah, you you're getting your creative spark back. You're getting you're getting your munchiness back. <laughs> All right, let me get y'all y'all uh advice cards. They're gonna be like I said, um message cards. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe, give that thumbs up if this reading resonates. If it did not resonate with you, I have many other readings and there's other beautiful readers out there. Just go find you one that you resonate with and or go check my sis out, Jay Coffee. Um, check Jay Coffee out. Oops, sorry. Um, as always, let's get you your damn, these cards won't stop flying on me. I know that. All right. All right, water signs. All right. I like to shuffle to the end of the day. Because whatever comes out, that's it. <sighs> that is it. <laughs> All right. So on the bottom, you have live for today, plan for tomorrow. All right. It's a lot of cards. Oh, we're going to work it out. All right. Let it go. Release it. You are in charge of your own happiness. Give it more time. I feel like give it more time is give yourself more time because that's where that's why it's telling you like don't give up on the ending because if that person is trying to resist you 
from separating from them. Don't give up. Don't just fall back into it just because it might seem easier. You need to forgive yourself if you ever did that. If you did just go back and I just hit a nerve like, oh man, I keep going back and they know how to pull me back. That's their job. That's what a car makes. That's their job. Say I love you more often to yourself and to those who reciprocate that love back and forth to you. Sleep is required. Do not settle. Do not settle. (laughs) patience is always necessary how you treat others is how you will be treated that might be like a little thing because you know how that car that hard karmic you know that could have been you cat you know everything happens for you because you don't know how much you told up in your past life and stuff like that but the cycle is ending but how you treat others is how you will be treated and do the right thing do the right thing Water signs, that is your reading, that is your advice. It's all love over here. Hit that like, share, subscribe. Like I said, check out Jay Coffee at the Oracle House. Um, I will see you on the next one. And please continue to enjoy the retrogrades and this super blue fun moon that we got going on. The energy is still here. It's going to be lingering for a little bit longer. And so whenever you see this, that's the energy that this reading is happening under. Y'all be safe. Peace.